They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Yeah, so you think about that, maybe when you're running long distances yeah. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yep, that's right. Give it to God. Absolutely. Yeah. So what is, uh, last one of the fast forward, what is something unique about you? Maybe the, maybe the folks don't know. Um, what's something unique about me? I don't have a bachelor's degree, but I have like almost a bachelor's degree in art education and almost a bachelor's degree in, in like the science nursing and I just never finished either one of them. So a goal, it's probably to go back to school and get my bachelor's degree in nursing. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, you're close, right? So you can do it soon. I can do it, I can do it. I'm, I'm a business owner and a mom right now, so it can wait for me. Absolutely. Um, I think it's really important for the military t community to have something like this for young moms because you, they're uprooting and moving and deployments and it really is something very special to have a slam when you move because you're basically just walking into a group of people you just left. Absolutely, yeah. And, and you were talking about SLAM, so the motto is sweat like a mother, yes. uh, which can be interpreted with however you want to exactly. interpret. So for, for you and for people in Strong and Strong Moms, um, what, what does that mean? What does sweat like a mother mean? Sweat like a mother means moms work hard. Being a mom is so hard. And we move, we do laundry, we go and go and go. Um, and we hardly find time for ourselves. So it's that one 60 minutes in your day that you can come for yourself by also being a good example for your kids because little eyes are watching. Um, it's just really important to take a little time for yourself and, and take care of yourself. And, you know, th these are other moms, other women that you can relate to that are experiencing some of the same stresses that you are, right? Absolutely, yeah. Like, I was a young mom. I had Josie at 20. I didn't, I didn't have very many mom friends because all of her m friends' moms were, like, in their 30s. And so when I found Stroller Star Moms, I guess I was 25. I had two kids. They were six and two at the time. And I was just like, this is amazing. Like, <laughs> I have friends now. <laughs> and, and they could be 34 or they could be 20, but it, just being a mother is like the great equalizer. We're all peers. Yeah, and you're 34 now, is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what would you say to, to women, and, and for that matter, dads and men as well, but what would you say to women intimidated by working out? Maybe they feel like they don't have time for it. You know, I've got so much I've got to do, and when I, when I have some free time, I just want to, you know, uh, take a nap or read a book or something. You know? and, and that's important too, and that's good mental. You need some mental time alone. But I just can't stress enough how important it is to move your body. I mean, if you are stressed out, the best thing to do is go outside and get some fresh air. I mean, don't be intimidated by slam and don't be intimidated by fitness. And there's a lot of vulnerability when it comes to starting something new. And it's okay to be vulnerable because everyone who shows up to the class for the first time is scared. And it's okay to be scared. But it doesn't matter your fitness level. We have moms of all shapes and sizes. We create modifications for pregnant and postpartum moms. We, I mean, even if you're a mom and don't have a stroller age kids, we encourage you to come because you're a mom and you need to just come move. You don't need to even bring a stroller. We'll put your water bottle on mine. Yeah. <laughs> and I know we're going to talk a little bit later in, the, in this podcast episode about the strength training and different exercises you guys do, but I know part of what you do together and maybe running in races together with your strollers, stroller strong moms. Um, for you, um, you know, you've now run, you told me, hundreds of 5Ks, 10Ks, some of them while pregnant, uh, uh, sprint triathlons, duathlons, you ran across Georgia with a team, so lots of adventures for you, but for you, running didn't always come easy, so describe about that journey for you, because a lot of people may be able to relate the fact that, it, you know, for, for you now that as a, an avid runner and very talented at it, you were, it wasn't always that case, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, so I met Joe. It's your, your husband. My husband, Joe. Who's the slad, right? They call it slad. sweat like a dad. The sweat like a dad. And <laughs> as we got to know each other, little tidbits were coming up about his athletic history and his abilities. Uh, one that he has, um, he still holds a record for the Columbus Hurricanes as a swimmer. Um, still to this day. Yeah. And even now he has a 15 year, two mile minimum run streak that he never breaks, not even when he had the flu or when I had babies in the hospital. This is for years? For years, yeah. Wow. 
Yeah. And uh, you told me he was named uh, Captain Blood as a former cross country coach. Yes, at Brookstone High School when he when he was the cross country coach or that, a captain. He that, was that's called Captain Blood. Sounds dangerous. He's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but he but he helped each, you get you into running, I guess. Right? Absolutely. I mean, he. I've always been genetically thin. Thank you, Grandma. Um, but. One day he looked at me and was like, you look a runner, come on. Come on. And you were talking about how, um, for you, one of your uh, hobbies or interests um, is, uh, uh, you know, exploring, teaching, learning, but also being vulnerable. You know, for you, you know, is that important to be able to kind of, you know, uh, tell people, listen, you know, I've, I've been through some really rough times and been in the valleys, and so they maybe can understand that, hey, listen, somebody else has been through this. Absolutely. I want to be that. I mean, I think, uh, I, I'm, I thank God that that happened to me because now I'm so passionate about making sure my moms are healthy and in their heads as much as that in their bodies. Um, I regularly post on our, we have a secret page, like, you know, like here's an, a few names of people. If you need to talk to someone, just text them and tell them that you need help because being a mom is hard and your hormones are all over the place and it's not, it, there, there's nothing wrong with you. It's just scientific. Yeah. And, and, and throughout the years we've learned tips and tricks. Um, but the second year we did it, we had like this, boss team like I was the slowest person on the team and we we, we told we you, know, you have to give the um, the race director your projected pace and we projected that we were going to run it at like at 830 and he was and I know no female team had done that yet and so maybe he kind of put a like that okay maybe these girls are a little getting ahead of themselves <laughs> and so when we're like I don't remember maybe like halfway through and we were right on eight right on eight 29, like, they they said because they didn't really think we could do it, they made us stop running because the, the people who were checking in um, weren't that far yet um, to make sure that we weren't, like, fitting. Like, we weren't lying, but yeah. we were so fired up and so <laughs> mad that they made us stop running. And I actually yelled at the founder of Shoulders Our Moms, Alexa, when she was... I really wasn't sure what was going on, and I was just like, you know, and the relays, you get so fired up at the transitions when you pass the baton and the person starts running. Well, she just didn't go anywhere. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, why aren't you running? Get out there and run. What are you working for this? What are you working for Run Across Georgia now? That's right. Anyway, they let the boys go ahead, but they made us stuff, and that made us mad. <laughs> and, you know, along with running, um, it's so important, and some people skip this because, you know, they kind of stick with just, just running, but the importance of strength training. Because I know for Stroller Strong Moms, you guys do a variety of workouts. Um, you know, a lot of people see your group down there at the park. So uh, how important is it to do the strength training, the circuit training, to kind of be either well-rounded or prevent injury, those kind of I things? Think, I, absolutely. I think injury prevention is huge. I mean, and especially as moms, we have to make sure our pelvic floors are healthy after having a baby. And that more and more science is coming out that's, you know, you probably really shouldn't do a push-up from your toes for like a year. And so we really are trying to take care of ourselves as much as we can while we're working out together because everybody is different. And uh, I mean, we, we incorporate all kinds of exercises into it, but I think injury prevention, especially with our pelvic floors and our, you know, our ab muscles, or you just had a baby, like chill out, you know, <laughs> it, your body will come back if you do it the right way. Yeah. And we actually, um, Stroller Strong Moms as a whole is coming up with a course that all moms can buy. Um, it's called Birth and Back. And it's uh, with a physical therapist who specializes in the pelvic floor, and you get you get the course, and then you uh, basically learn the right movements, the correct movements, not even for exercise, but for everyday everyday picking up your baby, squatting down. You know, there's there's a correct way to do it so you don't hurt yourself. Yeah, and you guys do. I mean, is it kind of like a boot camp where you do different exercises, or maybe yoga, or or uh, um, different um, you know. Uh, different kinds of exercises? Oh, absolutely. I can pull up my super red slam share. This is where every <laughs> single instructor on Stroller Strong Moms, when we have a really good idea, we share ideas with each other. And let's see, someone posted one the other day. It sounded terrible. But this is make a circle with the strollers. This is the girl who is in love with Megan. She said, I made two circles because she has a big group. She's got a huge group. So round one, everyone does five burpees. As soon as they're done, they start running around the circle. When the last person is done with the burpees, Start the timer, 30 second run, and after 30 second, yell plank, and then you plank for 30 seconds. Well, round two, you go up to 10 burpees, round three, you go up to 15, and round four, you do 20. That sounds oh. terrible, right? <laughs> yeah. So it, in that, you know, if you have like a person who's new to fitness or a, a, a pregnant mom or a postpartum mom, you say, 
instead of the burpee, squat down, put your hands on the ground, and walk your feet out, and stand back up. So there's a modification for every single exercise that we do. Yeah. And so she really loved the Elsa part where she's saying, let it go. Well, let it go. The word go stuck with her, but she turned it into go away, go away. And so she would just, <laughs> she oh, she's constantly singing. Like it would not surprise me if she turns out to be a singer because she's literally, she's like today, she was like, ba, 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 she, now that she's talking in full sentences, it's really cute. But does she understand how uh, kind of tongue in cheek funny that is, the go, oh. the go, the go away? I mean, she, now I think her big sisters have corrected her to sing Let It Go, but every once in a while she'll slip back into go away. And uh, dad was lucky enough to catch it on camera one day. And then we submitted it to write this minute because I just thought it was hilarious. And they played it. Yeah, <laughs> and maybe you feel we feel like saying that to people sometimes, right? Absolutely. Just go away. Especially yeah. her with her big sisters always like picking at her and like picking her up and playing with her hair. Yeah. She what she says go away, like go away. leave me alone. <laughs>